Joe again from N90X with a novel solution to configuring your SDX. Now out of the box it comes with two, actually three, uh, pre-configured IPs. The Netscaler management interface is at 192.168.100.1 and the Zen server custom version of Zen server that's on the box is at 192.168.100.2. Now, that's what we have on the right hand side here, those two IP addresses. There's a third one which is the LOM or the lights out management port. We'll get to that later. But let's say that your PC or your Mac is on a 10 dot network. Now certainly you could go into the network settings, do a direct connect to the management port on the Netscaler and change your IP to something in this network and you could do it that way. But what if you didn't want to do that? You could actually use, as I'm going to do in this case, a VPX that's running on your PC or your Mac either in VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion to set up a simple vServer to allow you to have access to that backend. Now, how we're going to do that, in this case, my VPX is the Netscaler IP is at 10.0.1.103. I'm going to define a server, 192.168.100.1, which is the Netscaler management port. I'm going to define a service, an HTTP service that's going to point to that server. And then I'm going to set up a vServer should be a V server uh, at the virtual IP of 10.0.1.110. Now, obviously, since I'm on the 10.0.1.x network, I'm going to be able to connect to this virtual IP. This V server will then forward my request to this server via this subnet IP, which I also am going to create 192.168.100.10. That'll pass the traffic over to the 192.168.100.1 and then I will be able to configure it without changing anything on my PC or not having if, if you don't have the serial cable to connect up that way. So let's take a look at what's going to go happening. Switch over to the Netscaler 10.0.1.103 log in Let's go ahead and create what I talked about earlier. Traffic management load balancing. The first thing we're going to do is create a server. Let's go to our servers tab, add a server, call it SDX management. And it is 192.168.100.1. That's all we got to do. It's enabled. Since there's only one, we just can create a service, service name, service, SDX, management, you can call it whatever you want. It's an existing server, find it, it's going to be HTTP, and we're going to connect to it through HTTP, port 80, just for initial setup. Then we're going to create our virtual server. Virtual server SDX management. Again, it is an HTTP protocol. Now, here this IP is going to be on 10, 110, 10, 10 network. And we're going to bind the service that we just create, created earlier. Select, bind. Okay, now it is down because it's actually not up right now. Uh, the last thing we need to do is 
create a SNP. So go into System, Network, oops, System, Network, IPs, and we're going to add a subnet IP 192.168.100.1. Could be any IP as long as it doesn't conflict with something that's already there. 255, 255, 255, 550. It's a subnet IP. And nothing else we do we do we need. Uh, management, it's not doesn't matter. We're not gonna use it. It's only gonna be temporary, right? So We've created that IP, that subnet IP. Now, if we look at routes, you'll see that if we want to go anywhere on the 192.168.100 network, class C network, we're going to use the subnet IP 192.168.100.10. Okay, now, even though everything is connected to uh, uh, an unmanaged switch, the NetScaler will act as a router and route your traffic there. So that's all we need to do. You could save this configuration if you want to. Otherwise, at this point, you can open up a new browser, go to 10.0.1.110, and you can see from when I actually did this, the Citrix NetScaler SDX login is what's in memory or in the, the cache. It's not the, my SDX is actually shut down right now, but if I were to click on that, it would connect me right on through. So here I am connecting to my SDX through the console port. If you want to see the boot up process. Compared to the 5500 and the 7500, the MPX 8200 or 8000 series is extremely quiet, at least this, this version. And when I say 5500 and 7500, I'm referring to the original because it looks like the, the newer versions came in a similar case as the 8000 series comes in now. Now notice Zen service booting and essentially the SDX is a custom version of Zen server really dedicated custom built to run VPX or Netscaler instances. So it's, it's finished running, and there we go. So it takes a little while to boot up. This is so when you get in, you'll get into the dashboard. This is actually how it came, 10.5.60.7 is the version of this SDX and there's a 11 and a 12 version and I'll show you how to upgrade that in another video but if you go to here you can network configuration and here's where you can change your Zen server IP address and your management server IP address the net mask the gateway and your DNS so following the VPX process using the VPX to get access to your SDX, you'll get access to this dashboard here. You can enter in this information, click OK, and then most likely, because you don't have a, well, because you've changed the management IPs, 
The system will reboot and you will lose control of the dashboard, but let it reboot. Hopefully you have console access, which is here, so you could watch it do the reboot. And then once it's rebooted, you will be able to access it at the new IPs that you've given it. So I hope this little tutorial is helpful. It's a quick and easy way to get access to another network in your environment by using the Netscaler as a router, which it has, it's a Swiss Army knife, you can do so many different things. So maybe it's a little bit of a novel way to do it, but I think it, it worked for me, and I think it can work for you. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next episode of N90X.